Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and in today's video we'll take a look at creating a marquee that will go across the screen at the top here, and it'll be continuous for the whole duration the user is on the screen. Okay, so to add the marquee, what we'll need is actually two labels and a timer. So the reason why we need two labels is the first label will actually appear starting at the left navigation all the way to the right of the screen, and the second label will actually go to the right of the first label. So it will go across the screen and once the first label is, you know, the timer is hit the maximum amount of time, which is 30 seconds in our case, it will then reset. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our label. So we'll add a text label here. And we'll butt it up right against the left navigation. And we'll bring it right across the screen. Okay. And then what we want to do is change the text in here. So we're just going to use uh, sensitive client data. Please be careful of your surroundings. And then what we want to do is change around, of course, the look and feel here. So we'll make it semi bold. We'll change the color to red. So it's very obvious um, that the user you know, sees this message. And the other thing that we want to do is actually have it listed twice. So right now we have the first part of the label and sometimes it's best to have it repeating. So it's nice to space it out. So you have sensitive client data and your message here, have some white space, and then you have your message again. So you can see it just going across the screen very nicely. So what we will do at this point, since we have our first label, we'll rename it. So we'll put label marquee one. And as I mentioned before, we're going to have two labels here. So I'll copy this, paste it. I will put it at the same height as the other one. But what we're going to do is actually put it at the right of the first label. So let's rename it to label marquee two. And then what we will do is go to the X and we're going to reference label marquee one. And we'll say where, you know, the X is plus its width. So it will always appear to the right of the first marquee label. So if we expand out, you will see it here to the right. So it's off the screen. So now what we can do at this point is we can start to add our label, or sorry, our, our timer here. So to do that, let's um, go and add our timer. And then with the timer, we're just going to call it timer marquee. And we want to run it at a certain point. So we want this to be triggered when the screen becomes visible. So when the screen, this screen is visible, the marquee will start to go across. So to do that, we will have to go to the on visible property of our screen. And we're going to set a variable. We're going to call it um, start marquee to true. Okay. And we will use this elsewhere in the app. So what we can do here is if we go to our timer, the duration is set to 60 seconds. Now this d dictates how fast you want your marquee to go across the screen. If you want it to go across in 60 seconds, it'll be a little bit slower than, you know, 30 seconds or 15. It really depends on how quickly you want your marquee to go across the screen. In our case, we're going to set it to 30 seconds. So it's enough time for the user to see what's going across. And then what we want to do with our timer is go to the auto start property. So this is where if whenever it's set from false to true, your timer gets triggered and it will start counting up to 30 seconds. So we'll use the start marquee property. And then what we want to happen is when the timer ends, we want it to essentially reset and begin the count again up to 30 seconds. 
So if we go to the on timer end, what we're going to do is paste that, you know, original, you know, mm -hmm. property we had on the on visible of our screen. We're going to set it to false. So the timer is going to say, okay, there's no auto start property anymore, but then we're going to set it back to true. So we're just, you know, resetting the timer at this point. So now what we can do is if we press play on the screen here, you will see that the timer is not starting. So sometimes when this happens, it's best just to save, leave your app, come back in. And when you press play, it will then start. So that's what I did. Um, I just quickly left and came back. Um, I just paused the recording for a little bit here. But now if I go onto my screen, press play, you will see that and now the, uh, the timer automatically starts. So that's just one like little issue I've noticed with the timer is sometimes for it to properly register, you have to you know, save, leave your app and come back in. Okay, so now that we have our timer set, what we want to do is tie this label to that timer so the X position of the label changes every time the you know the you know timer increases. So to do that, we'll go to the X property of the label, and its starting position is always going to be 81 pixels. So what we want to do is decrease it um, by the width of the label. And, and what we're going to do here is we're going to times it by the timer for the marquee. And we're going to say the value divided by the timer marquee's duration. So what this means is the value is essentially, you know, it will start off as zero at first, okay? Because the value is, you know, the duration is 30 seconds, but the value is currently at zero. So, you know, one, you know, 1285 times zero is zero, but once the time increases, so the value increases, you will see that um, the width of the label, whatever you times it by, it will start to increase. So you'll see that the marquee will actually start moving left slowly based on the timer. So what we could do here now is if we press play, we have it all hooked up and we should see the label go across. Okay. So there's a couple of things that we have here. One is we have this label list is twice. Okay. On label one, but you see, this is actually label two coming in. Okay. Um, so one thing that you will notice is once we hit the 30 second mark here, that's when the timer will reset. And then you'll see it will seamlessly just go right across. And that's because our label reset to pixel 81 for label one of the marquee. And it'll just continuously go across. So the other thing that we could do here is actually update this so that the marquee appears underneath our left navigation, since that doesn't look really nice right there. So to do that, what we will do is we'll click over here and we'll take a look at our label. So we'll just reorder it. We'll just bring it to the front. And what I will do is look for our icons. So these are our icons here. We're going to bring those to the front as well. So now if we press play, you'll see how the marquee goes underneath the left navigation. Okay. So at this point, you know, what you can do is with the label here, you can set it to false for visible. Um, there's no need to see it anymore. And then, um, yeah, this should give you a pretty good idea of how to use this type of functionality in your apps. Um, you know, usually it's in situations where you want to draw attention to the user, 
to take notice of something such as, hey, there's it's, there's sense of client data here, please be careful. Because uh, when stuff is moving around on the screen, it's more obvious to the users.